In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to find the x-intercepts of a graph on the TI-84 or TI-83 plus calculator. First, we have to enter our equation and graph the equation before we can find the x-intercepts. Click on your y equals button and then type in your equation. Our equation today is negative 4.9x squared plus 19.2x minus 5.2. Once we have our equation typed into the y1 area of the y equals menu, you can hit graph. Now I have my window settings set to the standard window settings. The y max and, and x max are positive 10 and the x min and y min are negative 10. But I want to be able to see my x-axis a little better, and I want to see the vertex of my parabola. So I'm going to go to Window, and I'm going to adjust my windows to x-min to negative 5, and x-max to positive 5. And my y-min I'm going to leave at negative 10, but I'm going to change my y-max to positive 20. Go back to your graph, and now we'll see that we've zoomed in on our x-axis and our y-axis is stretched out a little bit. So here we have two x-intercepts for this parabola. We have to find each x-intercept separately, so we'll start with the one on the left. To find the x-intercept, you press the second button and then trace. And this takes you to, to your calculate menu. Another name for x-intercept is the zero of the graph. So we're going to scroll down until we've selected zero, or the number two option, and press enter. We can see a little flashing cursor now on our graph, and it's asking us what, what is the left bound. So you have to take where your x-intercept is, and you have to move your cursor so it's on the left side of the x-intercept. In this case, the x-intercept is to the left, or the left of the x-intercept is below the x-axis. So I'm just going to use my over arrow till I'm close to the x-axis, but not quite on the intercept. And then I can press enter. Now it's asking me for the right bound of the x-intercept. So now I have to be on the right side of that x-intercept, which in this case is going to be just above the x-axis. So I'm going to use my right arrow key until I'm just above the x-intercept. Once I'm there, I can press enter. And now it's asking for guess. So you just press enter again. And you get your zero is 0 0.292975, zero is the, is the x-intercept point. Now this point is an approximation because this will be a rounded off number. So you could say your zero, one x-intercept is approximately 0.293. Let's now go find the other x-intercept. We have to redo the process. So we're gonna hit second and trace again and select number two, the zero. This time, when it asks us for the left, left bound of the x-intercept, we have to be on the left side of the other x-intercept. So we use our right arrow key and we scroll over till our cursor is just to the left of that x-intercept. This time, the left side of it, the x-intercept, is actually above the x-axis. And the right side is going to be just below. So once we're just above, we can press enter for left bound, scroll just below the x-axis to be on the right side of the x-intercept and press enter again. And for guess, press enter one more time and it tells us that our x-intercept is at x equals 3.626 approximately. And this number over here for the y is very, very close to zero. It's going to be on the x, on the y-axis pretty much. And that is how you find your x-intercepts.